Come on, let's magnify the Lord Jesus. Let us feel the anointing of the Lord Jesus. Let the power of God's Holy Spirit to move in the service today. To move into every individual's heart. Hallelujah. We exalt you, Jesus. Magnify your holy name, the name that is above all names. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bilang pagtugon, mga kapatid, at naatasan ng ating superintendent to do the ordination message to all our pastors with their wives. And in submission to the authority of our superintendent, I'm going to read the words of the Lord in First Peter chapter five, verse one to four, in the New Living Translation. And now, a word to you who are elders in the churches. I too am an elder and a witness to the sufferings of Christ. And I too will share in His glory when He is revealed to the whole world as a fellow elder, I appeal to you. Pastors to be ordained. Verse 2 says, Care the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly. Not for what you will get out of it. But because you are eager to serve God. That's the word of Apostle Peter. Don't lord it over the people assigned to your care. But lead them by your own good example. And when the great shepherd appears, praise God, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. Hallelujah. The crown that will never end for the glory of the Lord. Jesus Christ, Lord our God, our Almighty Father, thank you for the reading of your words. And thank you, Lord, for this opportunity and privilege to bring the message to our good brother, good brothers and sisters. And the ministry that you have entrusted to him. For your glory in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. And everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Please take your seats for a moment. I will read some points here. And then our general superintendent will come to lead the prayer of ordination tonight. God exercises a special care for the church by appointing pastors and teachers to watch over it as shepherds. And I believe, ma'am, but did from local license, general license, applying for ordination, duman kay sa proseso, hinarap nyo ang district board, nagkaroon ng interview, mga pagtatanong at salamat sa ating dakilang Diyos na approved kayo. Praise God and congratulations na na-approve kayo. <laughs> But the appointment to take care of the flock of God does not come from the board. It comes directly from our Lord Jesus Christ. Ministers are not appointed 
to do the work of the members, but to prepare members for their own work. That the whole church may be built up as the body of Christ. And we thank the Lord that we as a church is the spiritual body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Number, verse number two, it says, Care for the pluck that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, nor for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. If our hearts will remain, the motives remain to serve God, then we are ought to serve the people of the Lord. Peter's command that the elders be shepherds of God's flock echoed Jesus' words to Peter himself, Take care of my sheep. The same Greek word is used in both places. The poimino meaning to shepherd, to tend, or to take care of, to feed off, to guard, to pastor. It is always our job, our duty, our responsibilities to feed, to care, to guard, to watch the flock. Amen. And we are thankful to the Lord for that great privilege. Like a shepherd or pastor, an overseer was concerned for the well-being of those under his care. They should never take pride in numbers or names, but always remember that the church is not theirs, is not ours, but God's. We are just caretaker. Man, we are just a steward of these people. His identification with the elders is a powerful example of Christian leadership. Where authority is based on service, not power. Man, I like that, ma, but it. Our authority is based on service, not on power. Hindi natin tinatakot yung mga tao ng Diyos. Amen. Ngunit, ang atin pong layunin ay mapagsilbihan ang mga anak ng Diyos. A humble spirit. Fatal to a pastor's work is the ego that leave them by your own or ego that comes with leadership. A realistic appraisal of yourself is crucial. God is looking for a humble pastor, leader, And of course, especially to you that are to be ordained tonight. Alam nyo po, hindi lang sa ating for ordination but to all of us. Ang pinakahuling igagawad ng ating fellowship, na card of fellowship is the ordination. Pag local license, process ka for general, you will do your best for your promotion. We encourage you to give your support faithfully and to cooperate in the section, district and national. Then here comes the application for general as promotion. Then you got the approval from the board and we still encourage everyone to be supportive, submissive. And the last one is the ordination. And we don't want to see you. Dahil wala na kayong abutin pang ibang fellowship card and then you will forget that submission, that humility, that faithfulness. 
Remember that the instruction comes from the Lord. Take care of the flock of God. Verse 3, don't lord it over the people assigned your care, but lead them by your own good example. This passage describes three possible problems that elders might face and how they should respond. First, under that verse, wrong motivation. Nais po nating iparating sa inyo na pag ordain na tayo, tanggap na natin yung ating fellowship card ordain minister. Let us continue to be humble. Amen. Let us continue to submit to the leadership. And let us continue to love this fellowship. And let us be willing to be corrected. <laughs> to be rebuked if needed. Because the leadership care also for our ministry. So, wrong motivation not because you must, but because you are willing as God wants you to be. Elders must lead out willingness and eagerness to serve freely choosing to take on the responsibility and not leading out of obligation. The motivation to serve must also be pure. Ah, praise God. Not colored by social pressure of self-gratification. Elders should serve out of love for God. And we love the Lord, ma'am, but it Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. The next one, number two, is wrong goals. Bakit ako magpa-ordain? Yung iba, kadalasang sagot naming marinig. Kasi yung mga young people, nire-request na akong magkakasal. Pero nibig sabihin na ordain na kayo, pwede na kayo magkasal sa linggo. You need to submit to our general superintendent. He needs the recommendation of his office. At huwag din kayo magkasal na hindi din nyo pinag-aralan. Merong nagkasal sa ating pastor. Nung pagdating nung bride at saka groom sa harapan, sinabi agad, Pastor Banyes, sige mag-kiss na kayo, tapos na ang kasal. No way. We cannot do that, ma'am, but it... Plus, our superintendent will not give his recommendation kung wala kayong seminar, yung krasam. Kailangan po yun. Then, wrong goals, not greedy for money, but eager to serve. This temptation to be greedy probably arose because of the church finances. Ginamit pa dito mga pati, the money collected for the poor. Usually, we're entrusted to the elder or overseer. The opportunity to abuse the trust was very real. Thus, both Peter and Paul Explain that elders were to be paid adequately and were to be trustworthy with money. Instead of money, elders were to focus on serving. Maganda yung rarinig natin kayo na mga patid, Pastor Nomer. Trabaho lang. The best employer will provide all our needs. All the benefits that the world cannot give, God can give it. Say amen. amen. Hallelujah. The word eager is a very strong in the Greek, expressing great zeal and enthusiasm. Today, pastors can fall prey to the greedy desire for money 
In Jesus' name, wala rin yun dito ngayong gabi. Number three. We have number one, the wrong motivation, wrong goals, and wrong, the last one is, wrong methods. Not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. Being examples to the flock. Gusto nating maging faithful ng ating mga kapatiran. Ang ating mga pinangunahang kaluluwa, mga kapatiran, sa pagbibigay, maikapo man o alay, pledges, ano man yan, we need to be faithful also in our obligation to the headquarters. Hindi ba magandang sabihin, pero may mga nang order na tayo, pero ang report ay tapos ang reason kasi pioneering pa rin. Sa panahon ngayon, parang wala ng pioneering eh. Kasi mayroon namang nagpasimula ng gawain, may sasakyan na. Oh, nagpioneer pa yan. Pero may sasakyan na. Tapos, umabot ka na ng 30 years, pioneering pa din. Kaya nag-isip kami sa ICT board. May promotion and demotion. At kasama ako sa committee na mag-study sa bylaws natin, mga kapatid. So, we encourage everyone, be an example. Kung gusto mong maging masaya ang simbahan, maging masaya ka din. Gusto mo marunong magpupuri ang simbahan, una ka rin magpuri sa Diyos. Napakadal magsabi magpuri kayo, pero tayo naman, eh, nakaganun lang ng kamay. Ah, di siyempre, gagayahin ka ng mimbro. But, Peter said, not lording it over those entrusted to you, but being examples to the flock. Elders lead by example, not force. Lording it over means forcefully domineering or subduing. That's lording. Elders must fight the temptation to abuse their authority and hurt or hurt those entrusted to them. We cannot hurt the people of God. We cannot abuse the people of God. Paul or Peter said you need to take good care of the flock of God. And there must be a sacrifice on that regards. The formula Jesus used was always that those who lead were to be the best servants. Yung pinakamahusay daw na mangunguna sa kawa ng Diyos ay sila yung pinakamahusay na mga alipin. The leaders were to be examples of humility and servanthood. And that last verse, verse number 4. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What better motivation for selfless service? What better motivation for keeping the faith in the face of suffering and temptation? All believers will be declared winners and will receive a wonderful everlasting reward. This could be a source of strength and encouragement in times of trial. There is a crown we will come out victorious and winners. I preach mga pati doon sa Central Luzon District, Section 3 ba, Pastor Reed? We are victors, not survivors. Tayong lahat, maaring 
Magkaroon kayo ng tatlong corona, apat na corona, limang corona, isa lang sa akin, dalawa sa inyo. It's okay. As long as I will be in heaven. Walang pupunta doon na walang corona. Meron. Dito nga, meron ng coronavirus. <laughs> sa langit, mga batid. Ibang corona yun. Hindi nasisira. The preaching pastors must be biblical. The preaching must be balanced. The preaching must be apostolic. Say amen. Please all stand. Pabasahin ko uli ang inyong mga pangalan at sa lahat ng mga nasa live stream na nanonood ngayon for ordination kasama ngayong gabi mga badid. For Pastor and Sister Marlon Kayabyab, Pastor and Sister Aaron Lusong, Pastor Tristan and Sister Orpiada, Pastor Emerson Giganti and Sister uh, Giganti Roosevelt, Arlene, yep. Pastor Ernie Paris and his wife, Sister Paris. Pastor Big Ferrer and his wife today, or tonight. Pastor and Sister Alexander Glipo. Pastor and Sister Dominador de la Cruz. Pastor and Sister Erinio Ayon. Pastor and Sister Hope Gazo. Pastor and Sister Louis Del Rosario that are present tonight. And from Western Visayas District who are watching and joining this ordination tonight by a live stream. Pastor Jiron Gali. Pastor G.R. Cabaubau. Pastor Randy Diala. Pastor Roberto Cayo Jr. and Pastor Emmanuel Mahinay. Northern Mindanao District, Pastor Charnel Villarmino. Southeastern Mindanao District, Pastor Aldino Magkidong. Pastor Ramon Dagansan and Pastor Ray J. Tuano. Let's clap our hands to the Lord for this men and women. For the glory of the Lord, hallelujah. I will now ask our General Superintendent to please come to this platform behind this pulpit to lead the prayers of ordination. Bago po mag-pray ang ating superintendent and he can give a message also. Pag mag-start sa prayer, mga batid, or you can kneel down, luhod muna tayo, no? Then as the superintendent, nakaluhod kayo siguro para makalapit yung... Yan. Pwede kayo nakaano sa upuan kung... Yun, Okay. Then the members of our executive board to please come and join the prayers. We lay our hands to these good brothers and sisters tonight. Please come and help our superintendent in prayers. Praise God. Ba bago po tayo manalangin mga kapatid, may nais ko lang pong uh, i-recite muli ang sinabi ng Panginoon sa John 15:16 Para sa lahat ng ma-ordain ngayon at maging nasa online, praise the Lord. Ang sabi ng ating Panginoon, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. 
sa ating mga i-ordain ngayong uh, gabing ito, nais kong inyong i-internalize, i-personalize ang sabi ng Panginoon, You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Lumalabas mga kapatid na kami ay mga kamay at bibig ng ating Panginoon, ang ating executive board, ay mga kamay at bibig ng ating Panginoon, pero He is the one ngayon ordaining you. Siya ngayon, bagaman hindi natin siya nakikita, kasama natin siya, and He is the one ordaining you. Praise God. That you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you will ask of the Father, He will give it to you. So, mga kapatid, ang ating pong executive board, at din sa lahat po ng ating mga fellow ministers and saints, I am requesting you now to please stand together. And we will offer a prayer of ordination for these brothers and their wives. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At akin po namang uh, nirequest ang ating executive board members na pwede na lumapit sa mga <coughs> i-ordain ngayon as we pray. Samahan niyo kami mga kapatid. Amen. Hallelujah sa pananalangin sa oras na ito. Hallelujah. Ating uh, i-imagine ang Panginoong Isus ay nandito. Hallelujah. Gumagamit, ginagamit niya ang mga kamay ng mga leaders na ito. Ginagamit niya ang mga bibig at ang puso ng mga leaders na ito para iparating ang kanyang ordination sa mga kapwa natin gagawa. Tayo po ay manalangin mga kapatid. Hallelujah! 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 O Panginoong Jesus, kayo ang ulo ng iglesia ito. Kami ay ang inyong mga katawan. Hallelujah! Na ginagamit nyo para maisakatubaran ang inyong banal na layunin sa mundong ito, Panginoon. Lalong-lalo na sa area ng pangangaral ng Ebanghelyo at pagligtas ng mga kaluluwa. Narito po, Panginoon, ang mga kapatid namin na dumaan sa pagsusuri, interview ng bawat district board na nagsuri sa kanila. At sila po ay nasumpungan, Panginoong Diyos, na karapat dapat ngayong gabi, karapat dapat na maging kabilang sa mga na ordinahan, hallelujah, sa inyong pangalan, Panginoong Yesus. Kaya narito po, Panginoon, dalangin ko, hallelujah, sa kanila, na habang sila ay nagpapagamit sa inyo, habang sila ay nangangaral ng inyong mga salita, habang sila ay dumadalaw sa mga bahay ng inyong mga tupa, Panginoon, habang ginagampanan nila ang iba't ibang uri ng ministeryo na kabahagi ng kanilang pagiging ordained minister. Dalangin ko, Panginoong Diyos, ang iyong banal na Espiritu ang suma sa kanila, ang magiging kasama nila, Panginoong Diyos, upang, hallelujah, sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga bibig, ng kanilang mga kamay, ang mga kaluluwang kanilang paglilingkuran ay maging handa sa inyong pagbabalik, Panginoon. Magiging mga instrumento rin na magiging instrumento rin, maging tulay sa ikaliligtas ng mga tao at mga sinuman na lalapit sa inyo. Kaya mahal namin Diyos, sa inyong makapangyariang pangalan, ito ang aming dalangin sa aming mga kapatid na ito na inuordinahan ngayon. Aming ipinagkakatiwala sila sa inyo, Panginoon, na katagpuin niyo ang kanilang pangangailangang material pangangailangang physical at pangangailangang spiritual, lalong-lalo na sa kongregasyon na kanilang pinangangasiwan. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa inyong makapangyarihang pangalan. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 At mga mahal naming mga kapatid, pwede na po kayong tumayo at ibibigay na po ng ating officiating minister, ang ating pong assistant superintendent, Pastor Cesar Pistanyo, ang deklarasyon ng inyong pagiging ordained minister. Praise the Lord. To all our brothers and sisters, as what Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 5, I charge thee therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Amen. Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For Paul knows that for the time will come, Will they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall be heap to themselves, teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and they shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, hallelujah, endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist and make full proof of thy ministry. Clap your hands to the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a declaration of the church, United Pentecostal Church of the Philippines, in the presence of our dear superintendent, the presence of our board and pastors and ministers, and above all, in the presence of the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are now an ordained minister of the United Pentecostal Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Amen. And we will give time to our Executive board members, read it by our general superintendent to welcome you, to greet you, to congratulate you as the praise singers will sing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Congratulations sa ating ding mga ordained sa online Western Visayas District, Northern Mindanao District, and Southeastern Mindanao District. Congratulations po. Sa inyong lahat na nasa online Lord bless you Praise God Every praise Every praise 